Greetings everybody, this is 480 Volts and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX, the finale. We're gonna take down the final bosses, we're gonna take down Kuja. And I'm excited because something cool happened last night. My channel passed the 500 sub milestone marker. May not be a huge number to you guys, but it's huge to me. So, actually, it passed that again. Uh, woke up this morning with 501 subscribers, so that's even better. But what better time for that to happen than right here at the end of Final Fantasy IX? Alright, already have my party set up. And I showed you how I had it set up in the last video. Let's just go through this little cloud and see what happens. Nice little crystal shrine we got here. And there's Kuja. He's still in trance mode. Nice of you to come. I'm surprised you beat the four chaoses that I created from the crystal's memory. Oh, interesting. He... From the crystal's memory. Interesting. But, you're too late. Take a good look. Isn't it beautiful? It's the original crystal. This is where it all began. The birthplace of all things. Once I destroy it, everything will be gone. And like all good Final Fantasy villains, he wants to destroy all existence because... Because... Gaia, Terra, the universe, everything. Your lives and memories too, of course. <laughs> Shut up! The only thing that's gonna be gone is you! I'll take you out right now! <laughs> you honestly think you could beat me? Even if you do, Gaia's already doomed. Its assimilation by Terra has begun, and the Aoife tree will create a cataclysmic destruction of Gaia. Well, I thought you destroyed Terra, so... It's all over for you and your friends. See? I win either way. It doesn't matter. Even if Gaia is assimilated, the planet will remain, and we'll start over to make a new home. Then I'll destroy those two! Why do people cling to life? Oh wait, never mind. Kuji, you're nothing but a coward. If you're gonna die, leave us out of it. Why should the world exist? Why should the world exist without me? That wouldn't be fair. If I die, we all die. Zidane, you will be my first sacrifice. All right, let's do this. Wait, that's your final boss music? What a ripoff, I should sue. Well, we're not actually fighting Kuja just yet. This is a this is a warm up round, and I'm gonna go ahead and save because this could could go badly. We're fighting this thing. I'll see what it's called here in a second. Uh, it's called the Death Guys. Now, first thing I'm gonna do. Oh boy! Yeah, he likes to use Meteor. This is why I saved. Okay, that was so not bad at all. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is have Quinn cast auto life on himself. He's the only one who doesn't have auto life. Um, this guy is a flying enemy, so let's use wing edges, and then we'll just uh, use thievery, and then have out have Eco stand by for heal, or just go ahead and do healing. Yeah, um, meteor. The damage meteor does is all over the place. It could be a little bit of damage like that. It could be a lot of freaking damage. Um, and then we'll just have, uh, Quinn stand by for other purposes. And we should be good. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Throw wing edges. Unfortunately, Zidane and, um, Quinn are my only offensive members for now. Okay, Demon's Claw, that can actually really hurt you, but he missed, so that's nice. Now, as soon as Eco's turn comes up, I think I'll have her use uh, Holy, just because it's the most offensive thing I have. I don't know how much damage it'll actually do on the guy, but there you go. And if I need to do more healing, I can always use uh, uh, White Wind. But we have Auto Regen on everybody, and that's really helping us out. Okay, that wasn't so bad. But yeah, basically just go all out. I could use Medine, and if I had, 
I could have had, uh, oh, actually, that did good damage. I could have had Garnet in the party and have her use, uh, uh, Bahamut. That could have done good, too. Wow, those wing edges do really good. It's because this guy's a flying enemy, so... Um, yeah. I'm gonna do that again. That actually worked out really well. But yeah, the big thing you gotta watch out for is Meteor. Because sometimes it does dam little damage like that. Sometimes it just annihilates your whole party. Alright, now thankfully everybody has auto life, so... I'm not worried about this. I will have uh, Quinna get another one on Eco. Now, the messed up thing is that interrupted her turn. So she's not going to be able to use uh, Holy like she had planned. But I think I killed him already. Yep, I killed him. How, how did they beat death guys? Do you really think you can beat me? Come on, Kuja, don't hide behind your monster. Face me like a man. I don't care how flamboyantly dressed you are. Face me like a real man. Now, what's really cool about this battle is at the end, you have the opportunity to leave. You can walk back into that cloud and use that save point if you like. Uh, and heal up if you want and change your party out. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and use some elixirs. Because I'll tell you right now, we don't need these elixirs. <laughs> look, look how many elixirs I, I have. We don't need them all. All right, pretty boy, let's do this. Oh, I love this music. I can't believe you beat death, guys. Now, you, you're probably thinking we heard this music already a thousand times, right? Well, my time is almost up. Time to die, everyone. Let's do this! It's different. It's a different tune. This one is called Dark Messenger, and it's awesome. And let me go ahead and save. This guy isn't... This guy's actually easier than Death Guys. Because he does not use... Um, uh, Meteor. At least I don't think he does. Same deal as before. Let's go ahead and get uh, Auto Life on Quinna. He's the only one who doesn't have it. Ooh, Zidane's uh, tranced. Uh, I'll try Grand Lethal. I don't know how well it'll work. I'm sorry, this his music is awesome. Ooh, gets me pumped up. Umatsu does it again. Okay, that did good damage there, Zidon. Nice, that was better than any thievery I could have pulled off would be. Um, again, flying enemies, so just use, um, what do you call it, uh, wing edges. I'm gonna see how well Holy does. Again, it's just, it's, eh. It's like, I've got Ecos, and I've, the best she can do is Holy. Okay, now this is the worst thing he can do right here, is Flare Star. It does damage based on, it's like your max HP times like 50, I think. That's what I heard. So that's, it's gonna hurt a little bit, not gonna lie. But we should be good. So what I'm gonna go ahead and have uh, Quinna do is use a nice white wind. Now he can do other stuff too. So let's like hope he doesn't like turn my frown upside down. Or sorry, turn my smile upside down. Oh, you're not allowed to do that twice. Well, we have auto life on everybody. Ah! Ow! And he, he slaughtered Eco. But she's back up again. Alright, um. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, you gotta do a, you gotta do a Kiraga. That, that, that white wind helped us, but not as well as it could have if, um, his HP had been higher. Wait, did I kill him already? No, of course I didn't. 
Uh, I'll go ahead and use uh, Auto Life again on Eco. Remember, Aura will also do that. Flare! Oh, man. Alright, Zidane can easily handle that. And yes, I made a remix of this theme a long time ago. Poorly aged. It's in dire need of an update. I probably need to uh, remaster it. Alright, that should be Zidane's... Wow, he's still tranced? And why does this guy keep using Flare Star? Come on, dude. Ow! Oh, nice timing, Eco. Alright, and we should be good at this point. Oh, he's dead! We did it! We beat Kuja! Ugh, I'm gonna die anyway. I won't have to be afraid anymore. But I'm not gonna die alone. You're all coming with me! Ultima! Oh crap, we really gotta do something about him using Ultima all the dang time. Well, what's interesting is he didn't just use Ultima on us, he... He used it on the crystal. And he destroyed the crystal. As you saw, he wiped out my party. Like, we died. Like, our whole party disappeared. We're dead. Game over. Whoops. I guess we lost. My bad. I must have done something wrong. Oh. Where are we? Are we alive? Okay, now this part's sick and morbid. First off, love the Mellotron. But you can hear all the moaning and groaning in the distance, so... I guess we're in hell, ladies and gentlemen. What happened to the crystal? Where is this? You stand before the final dimension, and I am the darkness of eternity. Who, who are you? All life bears death from birth. Life fears death but lives only to die. It starts with anxiety. Anxiety becomes fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Star Wars this is not. Master Yoda you are not. Needed that line was not. The only cure for this fear is total destruction. Kuja was a victim of his own fear. He concluded he could save himself by destroying the origin of all things, the crystal. What the heck are you talking about? Why are you telling me all this? Now the theory is undeniable. Kuja's action proves it. All things live to perish. At last, life has uncovered this truth. Now, it is time to end this world. What? What do you mean by that? I exist for one purpose. To return everything back to the Zero World where there's no life and no crystal to give life. In a world of nothing, fear does not exist. This is the world that all life desires. Who the hell do you think you are? You're not ending anything. Never, not as long as we have the will to live. Foolish creature, your fears have already deluded you. One day, you will choose destruction over existence as Kuja did. When he sought to destroy the crystal, the purpose of life ended. Now come, enter the zero world that you desire. No! We'll destroy you and prove you wrong. And through our memories, future generations will see that we can overcome any fear. We can't give up now. We have to fight together. Even if we lose, it doesn't matter. Our memories will live on inside others. So even if we are born to die, I'm not afraid. I'M GONNA LIVE! Well, it's asking us to choose a party. Now, you can choose any party you want. I'm gonna stick with this one. I think... Well, 
It'll be alright. I... Anyway, yeah. Let's just go ahead and... Go with this party. I leave everything in your hands. So Freya's spirit inhabits... Or rejuvenates, I should say, Amaranth. Steiner's spirit... Though I am unworthy, accept my powers. Rejuvenates... Quina? I don't think so. But whatever. Vivi's spirit... I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Good luck. Rejuvenates Eco. And last but not least, Dagger Spirit. Now remember, you don't even have to have Zidane in this pow party. Please accept my powers. All right, let's do this. Now, if you're wondering what is this mysterious... Okay, so everybody got a full restoration. Good. If you're wondering what is this mysterious creature... Honestly, I don't know. Um... A spirit that exists to, to try and destroy everything. It just wants to return everything to non-existence. And let's just say, my theory is that Kuja unlocked him when he tried to destroy all existence. So Kuja inadvertently unlocked this creature. That's my only... That's the only explanation you're going to get from me. Anyway, let's do this. We've come too far to lose now. Let's just wrap this up and go home. All of us. All right, let's get it on. We're going to fight the mysterious voice. Did I time it just right with the music? Or is it going to go through this whole thing? Well, there, there's, our, there's our thing. This, my friends, is Necron. Yeah, he comes out of nowhere. I don't know what to make of him, but let's just roll with it. Here we go! Love this music. Let's go ahead and save, because this could go bad, too. Uh, so, again, first thing we're going to do is have... Um, uh, Quinna cast Auto Life on himself. Though I really should have Amaranth do it with Aura. Whatever. Okay, no, never mind. We're good, we're good. Um, flying creature, so use your remaining wing edges. Then just go all out with Thievery and all that good stuff. This thing is actually weak to Holy Elemental. So this is why I have Eco in the party, because she's going to really bust him up with Holy. All those status elements, abilities that I put on everybody is for this battle. You want to make sure, you want to leave Quinn on standby. And yeah. Though I suppose Quinn is not the best character for this. Let's just uh, go ahead with... Let's just, yeah, let's just wing edges, thievery, holy, that's going to be my strategy. And yeah, he puts buffs on himself that I don't care about. Um, blue shockwave, that's going to hurt a little bit. Actually, that's going to hurt a lot. It reduces your HP to one. So let's just go ahead and have... Uh... You know, I'm not even a heal up because auto regen. And if he does his big bad move, Amor's going to die anyway, so whatever. I mean, if I get around to it, maybe I'll use an elixir. How that did not kill him, I don't know. Oh, this music! And I love the Mellotron! I'm sorry, I'm I'm having such a good time right now. Alright, what are you going to do? Are you going to do your big bad move? Yep, here it is. Grand Cross. This thing, um, yeah. Well, first off, we're going to have a nice lengthy animation. It's going to really help Amaranth out with his auto-regen.
Wow, that did very little. Okay, it did berserk, it did berserk, um, uh, what's her name? So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do stuff about that. Where's all my Gasol greens? Crap, I can't find them. Am I, like, not seeing my Gasol greens? Or do I not have any? Did I use them all? Huh. I guess I used all my Gasol greens. That's so weird. I could have sworn I had others. That's actually really bad because... Because I don't think a remedy is going to fix that. Well, Quinn is dead. Never mind. And back up. Oh, okay, cool. She's no Oh, she's not berserked. Why did I think she was berserked? She looks like she's berserked. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and use uh, Holy again. And get another, um... Uh... Auto life on what's his name? Or on what's her name? Oh, just on himself. What happened to Eco there? What's up with her? And where are all my Gasol greens? Uh, I have no idea what he's doing now. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, uh, down again. I can't do any... Okay. Alright. Okay, here's what we gonna do. Fe ah, she's dead. She'll pop up again. It's okay. So let's just do uh, Phoenix down on Quina. How is she dying? Frick. Blue Shockwave, that's probably gonna kill Quina. Oh, no, it didn't. Dang it, I really want to use... Um, here, let's use an elixir on... Why is she not getting back up? Huh! I... Appears that I cannot bring back... Um... It appears that I can't resurrect... Eco. I don't know why that is. I'll try a few more times, but we really gotta get back on the offensive. So, here, throw another wing edge. Yeah, just get Quinna back to normal. I don't know what status he inflicted on Eco that I can't get her back up. Is she petrified? Maybe she's petrified. Let me use a... Oh, I bet she's zombified. No, that doesn't work. Here, let's try it. Let's try a shockwave. But I gotta get back on the offensive. Oh, I think I killed him. Oh, well, he's dead. Well, why defy your fate? Yep, I killed him. Eh, too bad Eco wasn't standing. Oh, well. The guy's not that hard. Anyway, Grand Cross just uh, inflicts a whole bunch of status ailments on you. Is the will to live that powerful? I think that's the first time I've beaten one of these final bosses in a Final Fantasy game on camera without all my characters standing. Hmm. Oh well. I think. I mean, not counting 6 and 8 because of how the final boss is handled in that game. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't change the ending, I don't think. I don't think it does. This is not the end. I am eternal. Sure you are. 
as long as there is life and death. Uh, well, if you say so, buddy, just like Zero Miss. Oh, well, so it looks like there is life on the planet now. Okay, well, here's Zidane and Dagger. Are you all right? Yeah, but look at what's happening. So what Kuja said was true. The Aoife tree is beginning its violent reaction. What's going to happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Oh, curse you, Kuja. Why'd you have to do that? Oh, hey, there's uh, Mikoto next to uh, Beatrix. I doubt anybody could have survived that explosion. No! Captain! They are still alive. What? Where are they? Over there! <laughs> The Hilda Garde is probably closer. You, the tall one. Sir, Hagen Pluto Knight 8, ma'am. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the Hilda Garde right away. Yes, sir, ma'am, sir. <laughs> oh, the Pluto Knights. Never stop being the Pluto Knights. Please be alive. Sire, we're receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up on the main line. This is the Red Rose. You're not General Beatrix. Who are you? My name is Mikoto. Everyone is alive. You are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can hear him. Who? Zidane? You can hear Zidane? Prepare to land immediately. Now we get a few FMPs for the ending. Just be warned, this ending's long. Yeah, this is gonna be a long video. Just how it is. Well, looks like the team's all here. That's the Hill to Guard A3. Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Sid! Thank heavens you're all safe. Come quickly, we don't have much time. Farewell, Zidon. Who said that? Ah, damn it. What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. You talking about Kuja? Zidon, what are you doing? Steiner, take care of Dagger. What? What, what do you mean by that? Kuja's still alive. I can't just leave him. What do you mean, just leave him? This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean that... No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane. Why are you doing this? Because... Because I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. Nice little Final Fantasy IV reference where it's like, maybe if Cecil had been touched by Zero Miss instead of... Or Zamus instead of Golbez... I probably would have fought against you guys and wrecked Havoc and Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy, but I know deep down inside, I have to do this. You not crazy, Zidane, but you go help Kuja, not good idea. It's too dangerous. Yeah, Kuja's a bad dude. I can't just leave him. There's no way I can live with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe, but we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. For me, now's that time. I had to face up to it, just like Vivi did when he confronted his fears to find out about himself. That was a big decision for Vivi. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think it was a really big deal. That's what you think. But I might not be doing this if it, were, if it weren't for you. You've definitely taught me how to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrade in time of need. I shall accompany you as well. Well, wait a minute. Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermetia and Alexandria. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't. 
I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. Whoa! You're a real simpleton. Ha <laughs> ha. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out there? Get on board right now! Come on, let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. Zidane, I love you! You better come back! Zidane, I need to eat more different food. I'm too hungry. You need to come back. Take me more places. Show me more food. I think we went everywhere there is, Quinna. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed, Zidane. Till we meet again. Zidane, you taught me to be another big le You've taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. Sadan. Princess, we must go. Now we don't have time for Dagger to say goodbye. Dagger, I mean your highness. The abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, you're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. Aww. We face many hardships too, but I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Zidon. Can't say it, can you? Promise me one thing. Please come back. Hmm. Oh, man, they do such a good job with Dagger, with her, um, in FMV form, she looks so... They always convey so much emotion through her. And I love it. Now, do I... I forget if I control anything, or I think this is all automatic. Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you! You still have time? Forget about me and go! Just shut up and stay where you are! I don't understand you. Yeah, I, honestly, at this point, I don't either, because Kuja's been nothing but bad news. Okay, here goes nothing. I mean, I sort of get the family tie that they have, the connection they have, but it's like... Kuja was a psychotic maniac. Do you really want to try and save him? Okay, I'm not controlling anything. That's actually, those animations are pretty good for in-game cutscenes. Yeah, as far as Zidane, I think it's, I think that's still FMV, like, background. They just have Zidane in it. Zidane's in-game character model just in it. I guess they couldn't afford to make a, an FMV model of Zidane. Oh, hey, buddy. Well, nice to see you're not tranced again. Oh, uh, that actually was a problem. Whoops. <laughs> it's like, I'm here to save you. Ugh. Huh? Phew, still alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. Again, still not controlling. I don't think I will. Hey, are you all right? Zidane?
What are you- what are you doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't do the same- wouldn't you do the same thing for me if you knew I was dying? I doubt it. He'd let you die? Actually, he'd probably come and finish you off. Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah, I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Now don't ask me why Kuja's suddenly nice now. Yeah, well, it's our turn to get moving. My guess is that maybe he was sort of being controlled by Necron. That's my only guess. I don't deserve to live after all that I've done. I mean, you can see they're trying to go for the whole thing with Golbez in Final Fantasy IV, but it doesn't work as well as it did in that game. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left. Nothing more to lose. Then I finally re realized what it means to live. I guess I was too late. Oh, looks like he's dead. Hey, don't you go dying on me, alright? That could be a problem. Still happy you came down this way, Zidon? I just think, you could have gone home with the pretty girl dagger. You could have married her and you could have been the king of Alexandria. Beatrix could have been your top general. You could have ordered Rusty around. But no! You decided to go back for the pretty boy because... Well, Kuja. What you did was wrong. Or is that Makoto talking? But you gave us all one thing. Hope. How do you figure? We were all created for the wrong reason. But you alone defied our fate. Well, I guess he kind of did, didn't he? He was, the one, he was the first genome to be like, you know what, I'm not doing things by Garland's book. We do not want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. To remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason. That our life has meaning. I mean, you technically were created for the wrong reason. But you went against that reason. So it's okay. Sometime later. Oh, this music. Oh, hey, Vivi. Back in Alexandria, where it all started, eh? So this is Alexandria? Pick up the pace, will ya? Oh, hey, Puck. I don't believe it! Vivi! Vivi? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's me, Puck! How could you forget me? Puck? You know, Puck! The, the Prince of Bermetia? Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? If you're not Vivi, then who are you? I'm... You're what? Vivi's son! You're Vivi's son? Yow! Look at all the Vivis! <laughs> yeah, those are all Vivi kids. I always talked about you, Zidane. How you were a very special person to us. Because you taught us all how important life is. Oh, cool. I can still pause. See, I guess Vivi ages faster than most, you know, people because the whole Black Mage thing. So I guess he's grown up now. Now, don't ask me how he made kids. Freya, you're leaving soon, are you not? Is that Sir Fratley? Yes, I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria, I went there many years ago. How long will it take to rebuild Bermetia? I don't care, as long as I am with you. I have no idea which one is talking. Aww. 
I love you, Freya. So do you remember everything now? Yet he still doesn't remember our past. I guess he doesn't. Okay, never mind then. I just want to cherish our time right now. You taught me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other. And live life to the fullest. Huh. Hello, Beatrix. It's time to say goodbye to this room. Why? Save the Queen, you served me well. You're putting down your sword? What, you think Alexandria and the Queen is never going to be in any danger again? My duty is finished here. Maybe she's retiring. Farewell, Alexandria. You're leaving? Why? You were literally the best soldier in Alexandria. Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts. So I know we're not alone anymore. No, Vivi, we are not alone. Hey, Amrin. Hey. Why are you going to Alexandria? Or is that Lonnie talking? You're not going? I, I have no idea who's talking. I, I never said that. Hey, hey wait. Oh, Lonnie and uh, Amrin. Why I was born. How I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me time to think. Aww. Ooh, I just got a Next Generation reference. The Offspring. Thank you for my life. Oh, that le episode is a tearjerker. Good food, not only delicious. Good food made with heart. If you say so, buddy. This is very important when cooking for friends. Good food is made with garlic. To keep doing what you set your heart on. It's a very hard thing to do. We were all so courageous. Hey, Sid. Hurry, hurry! We gotta get out of here before the play begins! Sid and Hilda and... Haha, <laughs> there's no need to hurry. And Eco. The theater ship is no match for my new ship. You built another one? My new Hildegarde is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You did the same thing. You said the same thing about the theater ship. Yes, Sid. Oh, I love that, Sid. <clears throat> That's what you said, father. Aw, father. Eco, what did you just call me? Darling, she called you father. Y'all two should adopt Eco. Father, mother, hurry! I think she wants you to adopt her. Sh say it again, Eco. Okay, that's an odd bit of dialogue. What to do when I felt lonely? That was the only thing you couldn't teach me. But we need to figure out the answer for ourselves. Huh. Yeah, if I didn't say so, I'm pretty sure that was Vivi narrating. Beatrix! Where are you going? Please don't ask. My mind is already set. Wait! Listen to me! Oh, Steiner. Are you blushing? I, uh... I never wish to lose you again. Steiner. Let us protect the queen together. Yeah, I guess Dagger's a queen now. Oh, she ran to his arms. I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish we could have gone on more adventures. But, I guess we all have to say goodbye someday. Now... Hmm, I'll say it later. Oh, it's... All right, you scumbags, we're almost there. Hey, Ruby. Been a long time since we saw Alexandria. Let's give them a show they won't forget. Yeehaw! Break a leg, people! Okay, the Tantalus boys. Everyone, thank you. 
farewell. Now they don't so directly say, My memories will be part of the sky. They don't so, so directly say, but I'm pretty sure Vivi died. At, at, you know, like, this is Vivi dying. Because as a black mage, he was uh, going to, his lifespan was super limited. Yeah, pretty sure he died. Anyway, there's Garnet. Queen Garnet. Queen Garnet. Looking as beautiful as ever. Ah, Beatrix, also looking as beautiful as ever. So she decided to stay after all. The theater ship will arrive any minute. It's been so long. How long has it been? I can't wait to see everyone. But... It'll never be the same. Oh, It's okay. I have to let go of the past. You didn't need him anyway. He was a pretty boy. I have to move on, just like he taught me. Oh! Looks like it's showtime! I hear clapping. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. For our, our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. Yeah, we're starting out just like we uh, began. Or we're ending just like we began. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Garnet, Lord Steiner, Lady Beatrix, and our rooftop viewers. Noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, good. Tantalus proudly presents, I want to be your canary. All right. Now, if you, if you have a problem with me pausing, it's literally so I can read the text, because it goes automatically. Marcus? Who are you? Sweet Marcus, I fear I... Sh Wait, sweet Marcus, I fear I love thee more than I should. Well, I guess she wouldn't be talking with her uh, southern accent. Princess, will thou be happy married to a lowly peasant such as I? Prithee, call me princess no more. Marcus, wilt thou only cherish me, the king's only daughter? Or is such a desire too dear to wish for? After our nuptials, shall I become no more than a puppet? Like I said, I can never say that word right. I don't know if I said it right. A mindless puppet, never to laugh, never to cry? I wish to live my life under the sky. At times I shall laugh, at other times cry. For no life is more insincere than that lived as a masquerade. So much consideration thou hast given it, but worry not. Cast away the trappings of royalty, and I shall swaddle thee in a gown of pure love. Never again will I depart from thee. Pray, my love, make me thy the canary to keep me forever in the cage of thy bosom. Let us embark on the first ship tomorrow before dawn can tell of our elopement. All my fortunes at thy foot I lay and I shall follow thee throughout the world. Okay, okay, whatever. I'm getting tired of reading this. I do love the music though. No cloud, no squall shall hinder us. Ah, nice little Final Fantasy 7 and 8 reference. Oh, love is sweetest joy and the wildest woe. Yeah, whatever. All I wish to be by my sweet Marcus side. Uh. Fie! It shall be war again unless this marriage is stopped. Ne'er will I let their plan come to fruition. Good day to ye, Highness. Good day. Wish thee of Marcus. Marcus? What news dost thou bring? This. Oh! Where is she? Where is mine only daughter gone? Blank, good man, hast thou seen Cornelia? Worry not, Majesty. 
I shall make sure Cornelia marries Prince Schneider. Be thou at ease. At ease, sayest thou? How can I rest not knowing she is safe? Could it be? Thou hast betrayed me? By my troth, sure, I betrayed none other than poor Markish. Thou had the gall to betray thy dearest friend. Would thou not betray me as swiftly? Stay thy hand. I am merely... Or not... I merely sought a lasting peace between the two kingdoms. The traitor is dead! Oh, cruel fate! You two, quickly find Cornelia and bring her to me. Yes, your majesty! Wretched daughter, how dare she disobey her father's wishes? The time for our departure is long past. Where is Cornelia? Marcus, the ship soon embarks. Born ye this boat alone, and peace could come to both kingdoms as Blank so said. Speak, Marcus. She told me that she could not live without me. So the sun is our enemy too, the eastern sky grows bright. Will we not spread our wings as yonder birds in joyous flight? Hark, Marcus, thou cannot wait any longer, the ship departs. Could she have betrayed me? Ne'er would my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear, if I only believe. As the sun lends me no air, I pray instead to the twin moons. I beseech thee, wondrous moonlight, grant me my only wish. Hey, it's Adon! Bring my beloved dagger to me! Yeah, that's why I use that voice. And she's like, that sneaky son of a... Are you guys not going to let her through? We finally get an FMV of Beatrix. About freaking time. Ah, Beatrix. As beautiful as ever. Run, Dagger, run! Make way for the queen. Look, look at this. She's getting, having to push everybody aside. That's the freaking queen of Alexandria right there. Get out of her way. Oh, there went your pendant. I like that she grew her hair long again. Oh, you're not gonna... Oh, I see, she said, who cares about the pendant? Who cares about the crown? Oh, so sweet. Ooh, 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 that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Love hurts. You mustn't, you mustn't. Don't ever do that again! And I look, look at all the VVs and the Eco and the Quina and the first time we saw Quina in FMV. Oh, it's so cute. It's so sweet. It's so beautiful. Oh, it makes me want to vomit. Um. How did you survive? I didn't have a choice. I had to live. I wanted to come home to you. Oh. So, I sang your song. Oh yeah, the song. Our song. This song. Thank you. 
And, well, we did it. We beat this game. Yay! Woo! I'm guessing this is why they had to make so much room for Disc 4, because uh, they basically throw every single FMV in here. And yeah, I'm talking over the music. If you really want to listen to it, go find it on YouTube. It's uh, The song is called Melodies of Life. It's the main theme of the game. We've been hearing it all throughout the game. And the chorus, they're going to work in Dagger Song in there too, so that's cool. But yay, we did it! We beat the game! We finished the Let's Play! Woohoo! So let me get a, a couple final thoughts here. Um, you know, I noticed that right when I got towards the end of Disc 3, I couldn't put this game down. Like, it, I just couldn't stop thinking about this game, and it just, it just invaded my thoughts. And that typically happens when I play JRPGs. They take a while to hook me in. The problem is they take, it's usually about halfway through the game, and then, then, then I get to that point where it's like, I don't want to stop. With this game, it was right at the end of Disc 3, which is more or less, I'd say, seven-eighths of the way through the game. That's not good. Now, basically, once we got to that point, I, man, I didn't want to stop, and I was loving every minute of it. Also, that cutscene right there, I'm, I swear that's the only time you ever see Dagger smile. She smiles about as much as Squall. But yeah, that was like, yeah, I didn't want to put the game down, but by that point, the game was almost over. So it's like, yeah, that's not really good. So that's a, that's a criticism I have with this game. It takes too long to suck me in. And maybe that's a personal thing, though. But it's something I noticed. So for that reason, I'm going to put it lower on the list than some of the other titles. Like, even Final Fantasy VIII hooked me quicker than this one did. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm being truthful. Love the atmosphere, though. I love the, uh, I love the tone. I love uh, how whimsical everything it is. The only thing that's weird to me is when they get to the final area and it's like, oh yeah, all memories come from a single source and they're trying to build up for the crystal so Kuja can destroy the crystal and then we can have Necron. That all is just kind of weird. And then Kuja's redemption at the end is like kind of, I don't know. It's cool that they would have a, a final villain do that, but I don't think Kuja was necessarily the best one for that. I will say, Kuja as a villain is one of my favorites. I like him way better than Sephiroth. He's almost as good as Kefka to me. He's so sadistic. I love him. Um, Zidane's great as a character. Dagger's a really good character. I love, I love how much emotion she conveys in these FMVs like this one right here. Um, Vivi might just be the best character ever made in the entire franchise, and probably not a lot of people think about that. But Vivi, oh my goodness, they did so good with him. Everybody else, Amaranth, Quina, Steiner, Freya, eh, whatever. I feel like Freya got kind of rushed with the whole Fratley thing. And you know what? I think that they had the wrong job class for Amaranth. Like, yeah, they wanted a monk, but Amaranth's personality, he is not a monk. He's like a brawler, a thug, a thief, something like that. He's not a monk at all. The graphics are simply breathtaking. The music is just, oh man, Umatsu delivered and then some. And the gameplay's pretty good too. I like the battle system. It kind of takes it back to the olden days where everything was a predetermined job class. And, uh, you know, the ability system works pretty well. It's very good. I mean, it's, it's a really good game. Um, I really had a lot of fun during this Let's Play. Um, I hope everybody else enjoyed it as well, too. And now, like, now I don't even really know what to say. I'm just sort of talking to get this done. There was something else I was going to say, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, well. But uh, we did it. Um, we beat the game. Um, Christmas Eve is tomorrow, so I, I met my target time. Um, what's going to happen is I'm not going to make any more Let's Plays for the remainder of the year, for the for the last week of the year. Um, beginning in 2024, at some point, I will begin my next Let's Play. I already know what it is. 
it will uh, be a lot easier for me to manage. I won't have to do all these practice runs. I won't have to do like an alternate save file because it's a pretty straightforward game. Though it's a big game. Um, I'll have to do some tech demos to make sure everything works because I'll be recording off of an actual physical console and not, uh, you know, emulation like I normally do. Um, be on the lookout for my remix of uh, Vivi's uh, theme or the Black Waltz, the Black Mage theme too. Oh, and here we get the main theme of the of the uh, franchise. Very cinematic. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Um, I have been working on my latest review, but it's not been... I've not been putting a lot of time into it. I'm just not in the mood. I need to get it done, though. Um... That may happen before the end of the year, it may not. But, like, no more Let's Play episodes are going to happen for the rest of the year. It takes some time to chill out and, uh, experiment with some other games. Oh, there's Amarant. I was about to say, we finally see Amarant in FMV. Oh, yeah, let me just go ahead and say Beatrix. I love her so much. She's a great character. And the Moogles, 10 out of 10 on the Moogles. They could not have made them any better. I love everything, literally everything about the Moogles. I cannot say one bad thing about them in this game. They are perfect. Well, the only thing I didn't like about Beatrix was the whole way she swoons, the whole love between her and Steiner just felt kind of manufactured. But whatever, we beat it. We beat Final Fantasy IX. Woohoo! Now, what's really cool is if we hang on this for a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There's the classic prelude theme in uh, all of its PlayStation 1 glory. Love it. So we did it! We beat Final Fantasy IX! Okay, well that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who, uh, who, who journeyed with me in this LP. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach 500 subs. And uh, here's to another 500. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day, rest of your year. I am 480 volts. Final Fantasy IX, you are... A wonderful experience. Pieces.